Hey guys, how's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is October 1st, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here, the Sleeping Giant and NATO want WW3. This is coming out from the former leader of the Bear, Dimitri. Now, the number of high ranking, you know what, in NATO states is on the rise, Dimitri says. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Once again, very important people are sounding the alarm when it comes to WW3. And this here, this picture, this one picture you see here, Red October. It's actually trending, believe it or not. I see it all over on Twitter. So you guys already know it's October. We're going to see a lot of stuff. And uh, you guys know that uh, October the 3rd, the bear is going to be doing their nuclear test exercise. October the 4th, the sleeping giant was sent out the emergency uh, presidential text alert. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to come. I do believe October surprise is going to be happening. Uh, it's going to be one of those months. And... Uh, yeah, it's very important that be, uh, people be prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, a PayPal link and a Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Oh, so I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. All right, so we're gonna see what's going on here, guys. There's a lot of stuff going on in this first day, first uh, first day of October, and uh, that's it, September. Uh, so we are getting closer and closer to the final stretch of 2023. And then 2024 will kick into gear. We're gonna find out who will be the leader, who will take the spotlight of Mr. Burns. Will the four five come back? Or is Mr. Byrne going to stay in the spotlight? Or would there be someone else to take the spotlight? And we got more breaking news updates. I want to show you something really quick before I forget here. Mr. Burns just gave a huge announcement earlier today. And this is what he said. This is what he said, guys. Give me a second. Let me just fix this really quick. Mr. Burns says... First, he said, congratulations to the sleeping giant. You're getting your money, all right? Congratulations, but he's not going to forget about UKR. Mr. Burns says his message to UKR on future aid, we're going to get it done because you guys come first. And he was not pleased yesterday. He was an angry grandpa. He was very angry. I'm glad the sleeping giants are getting their money. I'm glad the sleeping giant soldiers getting paid. I'm glad. But the yellow blue country should come first. All right. So uh, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. But Red October. Red October. A lot of people have been asking, what is Red October? And uh, let me just share this really quick here, guys. All right. Here we go. Open this up. Bam. Can someone explain what Red October mean and what style of skin it going to be? So I heard that it was from, uh, from a movie of the Bear Nuclear Submarine. All right. So that's why every time October comes, people is always like Red October. So give me a second here. Red October was a bear submarine that the movie, The Hunt for Red October, you guys already know, Mr. Burns' son, the name is Hunt, you know who. Uh, again, I just wanted to throw that in. But The Hunt for Red October, star, uh, starring the one and only scene covering, likely the skins will be off Russianish style if they ever even come to live from the data mining. I really apologize, guys. I can't see those words. Those things are really small. So I know they have a movie about this, and it's about all this uh, biblical war that's going on, and you have the bear uh, doing their nuke uh, exercise. 
So, will the bear strike? Will the bear send a message to the sleeping giant? Well, we're going to find out. Uh, Mr. Dimitri just gave a very important uh, message. Uh, so, uh, Dimitri, a couple of days ago, he said, we have no other choice. Eventually, one day, we're going to have to drop the big N-U-K-E. On the, on, well, he didn't say on a sleeping giant. They're talking about somewhere in UK. So they could scare the sleeping giant. And I don't think it's going to scare the sleeping giant. That's actually going to make the sleeping giant even happier. Sleeping giant will have an excuse to go to war with the bear. Alright, so if you can, guys, please share the video. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Guys, so last night, so far, the platform did not take none of my earnings. But we are in a new month, October, and please pray for the channel. Hopefully, they don't take a whole month of October earnings. Again, like I said, uh, I work really hard. I work like almost 12, 15 hours a day uh, doing research and uploading videos. It's, it's not easy. And plus, I have two channels and a Patreon. It's not that easy. So hopefully, October is, is a good month. September was terrible. It took almost... 80% uh, of my stuff. But thank you so much for the support, either through PayPal or Patre Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see what's going on here. So the conflict in UKR may lead to WW3. Because of the you-know-who sleeping giant and ATL occupying leading roles in the WEST. The former bear leader said or has warned the number of high ranking those in the spotlight is rising in nato members and i gotta stop here uh they send aircraft and a lot of stuff to poland so they could be prepared just in case they got to go in so a lot of stuff is being sent to poland and that's why the bear is sounding the alarm the bear is like you guys are getting closer and closer to our territory and it's gonna hit the fan once again, the number of high ranking uh, those in the spotlight is rising in NATO member states, he wrote on Telegram on Sunday. Once again, the former leader of the Bear, who currently serves as the deputy head of the Bear Security Council, was uh, responding to statements from London and Berlin the previous day. The former leader labeled the UK newly appointed. Uh, Defense Secretary Grant, fresh, uh, freshly minted, uh, Crenton, over his idea of sending British military instructors to UKR to train local troops to the conflict with the bear. Excuse me for the conflict with the bear. Now, if this happens, the UK serviceman will become a legitimate target for the bear forces. There we go. And remember that video I posted yesterday that the UK will be the bear number one target to drop the NUKE. Here we go. Dimitri's even sounding the alarm. If this happens, if the UK gets involved and send a whole bunch of stuff, if this happened, the UK serviceman would become a legitimate target for the bear forces meaning N-U-K-E. Once again, you have Shaps has uh, proposed deploying instructors to UKR, knowing fully well that they'll be mercilessly uh, destroyed and no longer as mercenaries, but precisely as British NATO specialist, the bear official wrote. Now, once again, the former leader of the bear and uh, give me a second here guys the former leader of the bear also described the head of the german parliament defense committee marie i'm gonna skip all that name as another you know what after she urged berlin to supply long range uh cruise missile to the yellow blue country capital she also claimed that UKR strikes on targets inside the bear using those German-made munitions will be in full compliance with international law. In this case, 
the bear strikes on German factories where those missiles are being made will also be in full compliance with international law. Still, those you know who are actively pushing us towards WW3. It's very true. So, in a previous post on Saturday, the former leader of the Bear insisted that the Bear Capital military operation in UKR would continue until the current regime in the Yellow Blue Country capital is destroyed and the historic Bear territories are liberated from the enemy. All right, so that's where we are right now, guys. Give me a second here. So, um, Dimitri is sounding the alarm. He's saying right here, um, they are pushing us towards WW3. We don't want this. We don't want this. The sleeping giant NATO does not need to stake their business in UKR. So again, guys, is you know the sleeping giant are desperately begging for someone to give them WW3. Please, someone launch something towards us. We need to wipe out our debt. Is at 34 trillion, and we need biblical wars. All right, so it says here, the Bear Capital has reportedly warned that deliveries of powerful stuff to UKR mean, excuse me, by UKR, uh, Western countries only prolong the fighting and increase the risk of a direct military confrontation between the Bear and NATO. Now, the Bear officials have also argued that the provision of armed intelligence Sharing and a training of the Yellow Blue Country Capital troop already means that uh, Sleeping Giants and NATO nations have de facto become parties of the conflict. NATO has become party to the conflict, meaning that it's no longer the bear versus crane. It's the bear versus NATO. The bear versus the world. And it's coming. I do believe something big is coming. It's just a matter of time. You guys already know I posted this video yesterday. If you want to check it out, that link will be in the comments box. I recommend people to watch this one here. There you go. You got this one, the bear nuke target. You got closest Vladimir advisor says nuke UK off the, you know what, to stop UKR war. NWW3. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. You got very important people sounding the alarm saying, hey, we have no other choice, but eventually this thing is going to hit the fan. Are you ready for a Red October? A lot of text messages, presidential message, nuke exercise, Abram tanks, cruise missile. Even North K ballistic missile will play a huge role in this game. We're going to see a lot of changes going on from now on. Welcome to October. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough times. Till next time later. Peace.